by far one of the most impressive entrepreneurs I've had the pleasure of meeting in a long time, especially because I just really appreciate and envy how quickly she takes action. So it honestly wasn't surprising to me, but I do remember seeing a post in one of our Facebook groups where she was like, hey, uh, FYI, just made $175,000 and thanks guys, bye. And it's like, whoa, 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 come back here. You did what? This is The Fighting Entrepreneur, the podcast dedicated to entrepreneurs looking to change the world. Learn how to start, build, and scale a business in today's highly competitive business environment. Here's your host, The Fighting Entrepreneur, Anik Singhal. What's up, you crazy fighting entrepreneurs? Guess who it is? Your favorite person in the whole wide world, Anik Singhal, back with another episode of The Fighting Entrepreneur. Today's episode is killer. We're going to talk to an amazing, amazing woman, an amazing entrepreneur. She went off and created $175,000, okay, in 14 days with a simple presentation. And we are going to dissect it all from head to toe. She's going to reveal it all. I already know she reveals everything because I know her well. And she's never hidden a single thing. And she actually brought stats with her for this, for this podcast. So I'm really excited to get into it. Um, now, before we start, um, brand new website is up, onicpodcast.com. Come on and go check it out. It needs a lot of work still, but it's getting better. You can actually search it now and you can find episodes. So I can tell you names and you can go search it. It's like the biggest evolution in, in the history of website making. We have search functionality now. Uh, I'm excited though. Onicpodcast.com. Make sure you have a free account at learn.com, L U R N.com. Listen, half a million entrepreneurs have come together on that platform. We are moving together. We are creating a movement. Be a part of it or watch it pass right by you. Learn, L-U-R-N.com. Tons of amazing free courses, $5 courses, $2,000 courses. I mean, whatever fits what you need in your business right now, we've got for you inside of learn.com. And of course, you know, onicpodcast.com, going back to that real quick, you should go back and listen to a lot of our episodes, man. We have killer training. You know, I was looking back at last year and how much of what I've learned from our guests I've applied into my business. It's no surprise that 2020 was a record-breaking year for me by far, and 2021 is already shaping up to probably shatter 2020's record, which is insane when you're at the kind of numbers that we're at. So uh, I love this podcast. I'm telling you, if for no other reason than for what it does for my own business, and today's guest is a prime example of that. Last but not least, and then we'll get started. Do me a favor. If you're on YouTube, click subscribe. Click the bell icon. Click the thumbs up icon. Leave a comment. Leave a comment for our guest as well. Talk to us throughout the presentation. And if you're on any of the other platforms, iTunes, Google, make sure you subscribe and leave us a great review. Thank you for helping us get this podcast to the top of the rankings. Now, I want to introduce our guest, Miss um, Dominique Fraser. She is someone I've gotten to know very well. Now, I'll tell you, when I work with students and I work with people and I work with entrepreneurs, one of the things that I, can, I catch on to very quickly about somebody is action taking. And with Dominique, I have a joke. There's an actual joke inside the, inside the coaches group. I'm not even sure if she knows about it, but we had this moment where she was at an event and we were telling, we were, I was saying something and I wasn't done speaking and she's, she, you could tell, she was like, okay, I, I need to go because I have to go do what you just said. And I'm still talking. I'm like, hey, did we st I haven't finished the instruction, but she was itching. She was like, just stop talking. Like, I got to go. So the joke with her is that, you know, if you tell her to do something that could help her business, you have to hold her because her legs start to move before you're done. And that is a crazy kind of action taking. But it's also because, you know what, she's been an entrepreneur for a long time, as you're going to learn, and she's just made it so that when she learns something, she acts on it. And on top of that, she's an entrepreneurial coach. She helps others with their journey. So I think she sees it from both sides. By far, one of the most impressive entrepreneurs I've had the pleasure of meeting in a long time, especially because I just really appreciate and envy how quickly she takes action. So it honestly wasn't surprising to me. But I do remember seeing a post in one of our Facebook groups where she was like, hey, uh, FYI, just made $175,000. And thanks, guys. Bye. And it's like, whoa, 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 come back here. You did what? Um, and then you get to learn even more about it. And you realize, wow, in such a short time, with such a short presentation, just action taking in a tiny, tiny market, what I didn't even share is most of her sales and revenue come from Canada in a French speaking market, but more specifically from Quebec in Canada. And I'm telling you, she's about to strip all of us of any excuses we've ever had in our lives of not making business work. 
Um, really powerful stuff. She's a really strong woman. Um, she's a mom. And so she's doing it all, right? She's doing the family thing. She's doing the entrepreneurial thing. She's doing the travel thing prior to COVID, um, living her life. So it is an honor to introduce to you our guest for the day, Ms. Adama Neek. How are you? Thank you for being here. Oh, thank you for having me, Anik. I'm very, uh, I'm very thrilled to be here. <laughs> yeah. And, and it's going to be fun. I love her accent. So I get to listen to the accent while I record this. Half of the time, I'm going to be focused on that. But um, awesome. Well, Dominique, as much as I, I do love you, you still don't get away from the oath. We have to do that as we start. So raise your right hand and repeat after me. Uh, <laughs> I, Dominique Fraser, but say your name the way, the last name, the way you say it in French. I, Dominique Fraser. Ah, Fraser. <laughs> I love it. Do you solemnly swear? Do you solemnly swear? Tell the truth and nothing but the truth. Yeah, to tell the truth and nothing but the truth. And reveal my hundred and seventy-five thousand dollar funnel. And reveal everything tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right, awesome. Um, so you know, I I don't know if I know this, Dominique. I'm sure you've shared it with me, but let's take five minutes. Go over your story. Like, how did you become an entrepreneur? You're out in this interesting market again. Like I said, you're stripping people of their excuses. French speaking in a specific city of Canada. Um, someone might ask, hey, did you run a whole bunch of ads for that? Here's something she told me before we started the podcast. She's like, I can't even do ads because the market is so small. I run out of audience before my ad gets a time to click. So tell the story. How did Dominique become who she is today? Actually, I was an artist. <laughs> so, oh. Yeah. yeah, I'm a graphic designer. I, 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 uh, before and i decided to start a, a company as a photo retoucher uh, uh, in 2008 and what happened it's in 2010 i just decided to start an online school because a lot of people were coming to me saying hey where how do you learn how did you learn to to do retouching and there's is there a school or courses i would i could take to do the same thing that you're doing and at that time, there was no school at all. And you know what? There's still no school and no program, only mm -hmm. mine. So in 2010, I create this. I just decided to create this uh, intensive courses about photo retouching and sell it online. It was like my beginning uh, as uh, online entrepreneurs. Yeah, and awesome. this is yeah, this is where I started to create the funnels and stuff like that. But at that time in 2008, there wasn't ads. Uh, I think it was the beginning of Google, but in mm. Facebook, there was no ads. And I remember I sold like for half a million dollars with a list of 429 people wow. uh, only on organic uh, posts on Facebook. It was crazy. So this is wow. where my story started, actually. <laughs> that, that is amazing. So you, again, found a need. There is a demand. You filled it, and then you entered the world of online entrepreneurship. So, from this business of yours, from photo editing and teaching people how to do that, how did you land up in today? I know you coach specifically. You work with uh, people who have high ticket products. You coach them. Um, talk about like that's a really crazy transition. How'd that happen? Actually, actually, I didn't find a need. The need find me. Uh, people were asking me in 2000, and Dominique, I want to be a photo retoucher. I want to do exactly what you're doing. How can I do that? And often, this is what I'm telling my, my clients, actually, just listen. People are telling you already what they want from you. You are an expert in something, and they want this. And in 2016, people were asking, Dominique, how did you start that school? Can you explain to me how did you promote yourself? How did you change your knowledge into an online product? So in 2016, I just decided to create the, the business, uh, the business side of Sublime Business um, uh, because people were asking me about marketing. Yeah. I love how you flowed with the market. And I find that so many entrepreneurs try so hard to create a market. You, you force it because you want to make money. And whereas when you flow, I always say, which is easier to fly, to swim downstream a river or upstream? It's always going to be easier downstream. Just go with the flow. And even here at Learn, it's some hard learned lessons I've had where just listen, ear to the ground. What are they asking for? And when they ask for it, just put it in front of them. It's so easy. Right. If I'm really hungry and I'm like, I really, really want a burger 
I'm really hungry. I really, really want a burger. And you put a burger in front of me. I, I'm just, I'm super happy. Like, it's not like, but a lot of marketers, a lot of entrepreneurs are saying, oh, you want a burger? No, 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 no. Pizza, better for you. You should have this pizza. And I just feel like that's the core of why a lot of students struggle. But I'm going to jump right in. So your business model, um, I'm going to jump right into some of the objections that people have with your business model. But before I do that, I want to describe it. You tell me if I described it correctly. You're a coach. Uh, you do m group coaching for the most part. You do some individual coachings. You do some masterminds. You do all kinds of different courses in coaching, but you very specifically sell very high ticket. So I, in, in, in my teaching, I say high ticket is 1,000 to 3,000 and super ticket is 5,000 and above. So you're actually even in the higher range of super ticket offers. Uh, your funnels are to get people to watch you, to want to work with you, book a strategy session with you. You get on the set strategy session, help them out. And then at the end, you offer them your package, whichever one you currently have at the moment, and they choose to enroll or not enroll in that package. Did I at a very high level kind of cover what the model is or would you like to add anything? Yeah, it's kind of it. <laughs> right now in the, uh, because I have my school right now, I, I still um, teaching photo retouching, by the way, I still have that business rolling. Wow. And I have also the marketing side of the business. So it's just, actually it's the same business. Uh, it's just that we have two differ different markets and what is great also about the model that I'm that I'm using and that I'm teaching too is that I have mentors mentoring for me. So I'm not the mentor anymore. Like for an example, oh. the courses that I created in 2010, I still sell it, and and it sell at $7,500. Okay, and um, this course oh, we got and we have it in English and in French. So we have two funnels in English and in French. And I have right now students who were my students 10 years ago who are mentors for me. So when we got a new client, first, I'm not the one selling. And also, uh, my mentors are taking care of my clients. And what is great is that they did my course 10 years ago. They mm -hmm. also had experience as photos retouchers. And I don't even have to look at what they're doing with the clients because I know exactly that they are they are as good as I was <laughs> 10 years ago. So that's great because that that um, business that I created in 2010 is still rolling uh, by itself now. Yeah, uh, is that so which one did you do the 175,000? Was it the photo business or was it the coaching business? The coaching business. The, the coaching, coaching business, business about right. marketing, about yeah. creating high ticket offers and stuff like that. But but that's amazing. I mean, you're setting up systems that are running themselves. You're setting up businesses. These are assets. These are things that you own that carry value. You can pass down generations, and, um, and because you're not the you're not the specific coach. So let's talk about the reason I brought this up, and the reason I dove into the model before even you was because I wanted to save the hard questions for you. So, in your in your model, the number one thing is that you have programs that you sell or i should say enroll people into that are twenty five thousand dollars or more so immediately now as i'm saying that someone who's listening to this podcast is thinking oh well this isn't for me i, I don't have a program i i can't sell i don't even i don't even have a 25 dollar program how am i gonna sell twenty five thousand? so before we could get into the inner intertwinings of your business model and how people could set it up for themselves let's address the elephant in the room can anyone listening to this have a $25,000 program or do you have some special reasons why you can have that? No, everybody can sell the 25K or more if they want. But you know what? The only reason why most of people will think they can't uh, and they will just stop there. You know, they will stop. You know what? I don't have ideas. I don't have 25K ideas. I think my knowledge don't work that much, so I can't do it. And this is the reason why people, most of people will not sell at that price. It, it's very true, by the way. And, and I don't know how to help people have this paradigm shift, but it's just one of those you have to, you have to journey through yourself. I'll give an example of uh, a person in a minute that I pay a lot of money to. But before I go there, so Dominique, what about topics, niches, $25,000 offer, 
Does it have to be in the make money space? Are there multiple niches it can be in? Like, could it be in the photo, you know, your other business? Could you have a $25,000 offer in that business? Or are there, depending on the niche, are there ceilings? Like, talk us through that so that someone can look at this from their niche. Oh, almost every niche can have that kind of offers. But it depends, you know, because you can have like the offers that you are like, for an example, like just showing people stuff, you know, I will teach you uh, to learn something, but you can do also like, for an example, in the service uh, area, like people who have agencies, uh, they can offer, uh, maybe split their offer in several, um, uh, you know, installments, like 12 installments and make sure that they're getting this recurring, bu- uh, this recurring business. You know, it's mm. just 2,000, 2,300 that will create 25K at the end of the, of the year, you know? So often people don't think uh, as themselves, um, as the professional they are. Actually, this is what I'm working with. Uh, at the beginning of the program that I'm doing with my clients, the first thing that I'm doing with them is to identify their genius. So what the information, the knowledge they have inside of them that's worth most, okay? And mm-hmm. surprisingly, they, got, they get all shocked by this revelation because uh, almost everybody knows something at, at a high value, but unfortunately, they don't see it because it's so easy for them to do that thing, so mm-hmm. easy that they think it doesn't have any value. So often, they're just offering it uh, like for free for, to everybody. You know, it's funny. Um, I was just thinking, I'm like, ah, you got to do this example. Like you got to do this live right now. So I was going to pick on our head of AV right here, Porvak. I was going to be like, all right, Porvak, let's go identify your genius. Um, okay. and, and I think I will. So he, he's, he may not come on camera, but let's use him as a case study here. I already know though, because like, I know him. So, but it's funny because I started thinking, I'm like, all right, what $25,000 program could we have for Porvak? And within about 30 seconds, I was like, oh, I know exactly because I know his background and stuff. But Let's let's use him as an example or anyone. How do you start the process? A lot of people listening right now, Dominique, might be administrative leads. Maybe they're engineers at their job. They don't like. How do you come up with that? Right. Like if you were talking to Porvak, he's an AV specialist. How would you work with him to come up with his point of genius that could be worth twenty five thousand dollar offer to someone? Okay, it's a lot of um, different points. Like for an example, uh, it's AV. You said. AV, audiovisual, camera. Um, he's he's amazing with video cameras. Super easy. <laughs> yeah, super easy. Are you All right, ready? let's go. I hope yep. you listen. Porvok, are you ready? Listen. Are you ready? Porvok's ready. Listen yeah, he that. said he's ready. Super <laughs> easy. Super easy. What entrepreneurs and most importantly, influencers needs right now? They needs to be everywhere. Okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's start with that. Um, so there's a bunch of people like me uh, <laughs> that don't necessarily have right now schedule in my, um, in my uh, schedule, like appointment with a videographer every two months to make sure that we are recording all the ads I need and also mm-hmm. all the, I don't know, videos or podcasts that I need uh, and for eventually promote myself in social media, okay? So it could create a package that they sell 25 uh, 200K, 500, I don't know, per month. And that allows me to have this all already uh, in my schedule appointment with my videographer to create all my content. There we go. That's an, that's uh, one example. Cool. I, like, I like the 200K a month. Perfect. You do 200K a month, I will invest in that business. I promise you. That is an awesome price point. Um, I actually thought of a bunch of stuff. So I happen to know for him, um, his family has been in the wedding filming business for a long time. So I mean, he could coach other videographers on how to build a a, a wedding or a, like a filming business. Um, but even more, I was thinking, right? Like in my head, I was like, all right, he was too easy. So let's go to like someone who's an administrative assistant. And um, I, I actually am using this particular example because I have a student of mine who is the most amazing person, but she really undervalues herself. And she is, she's been a, she's been an assistant, an executive assistant for like 20 plus years. And she is the most organized and well put together person I've ever met. And I helped her with this. She was like, what do I create? She's looking for a $10,000 offer. And eventually I said, you know what? Go through a certification program 
with a with like a life coaching or a professional coaching company and be their accountability partner. People will pay a ton for that. I pay tens of thousands a year to a person for all and all this person does for me is two or three times a year they list they're listening to me every week i'm accountable to them they give me focus points every week like okay let's focus on this it's never anything that's super earth shattering for me but that accountability alone makes me do it right and i pay a lot of money for this so i better do it but then two or three times a year because they're listening from a third perspective they say one thing they're like did you consider this and for me it's like it it changes the radius of where i might like earth locates or like rotates on so I want everyone to think about the fact that when you start selling at higher price points, you're attracting a higher level of customer. They will bother you less and they actually need less from you to achieve their greater outcome. It's a crazy, crazy world. And it works like I am the best customer for people. I don't have time to complain. You know, I just don't have I don't I don't have the time to complain like I, I'm going to pay you and I'm going to do what you say. I'm going to get my results. I'm going to get out the door and ask minimal stuff. I'm, I want, I'm more focused on taking action. Like Dominique, exactly. Like she came in and like I said, I was joking before, but she was like, there was a point at which she learned enough and she's like, ah, la, 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 I'm done. Like I'm, I'm out. I want to go, you know, put this into action now. So we're going to move past this for a minute now, but if, if you are still confused about this, you 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 really need to stay tuned with Learn because we have more programs coming soon where we're going to show you how to create your own super ticket offers. It's really it's actually easier to create a super ticket offer than a high ticket. I'll say this again and again and again to everybody. Um, but Dominique, I want to dive into more stuff. So let's go into this case study. I'm going to let you go. You've got stats. You've you'll give us a visual. Give me the background. How did it get put together? What did you do? And how did the hundred seventy five thousand dollars come about? Okay. Um, actually, I just decided to to start a new offer, 25K offer, okay? And by the way, uh, every time I'm starting a new offer, I'm starting always by the price. I choose the price first. <laughs> and I think after, okay, what I will sell at that price. So I, I think about, so think about it. What would be your next offer? What the, the amount, okay? Let's start with that, okay? Mm -hmm. So 25K. And I was thinking what people are, I'm listening right now, what people are telling me they needs because right now we are in, in the COVID time, people were like struggling a lot. A lot of the business online uh, people who, who had also online businesses just get stuck there. But I don't know for them why they were stuck there, but my business just thrived during COVID, okay? And yours too, like you said before. Mm -hmm. And so I decided how can I help those people to thrive too? And this is where I came with this idea to, I will get, the, I will like give them my structure, my business structure, how you can create an online uh, coaching courses slash course and have a mentor team and remove yourself from everything eventually. Okay. So I decided to sell that. And what I did, I just emailed my list, a very, very cold list, very cold. Okay. I didn't email my list for uh, like a few months. And I just told my list, you know what? I will show you everything about my business. Let's come to see me. I will show you the behind the scene, what Sublim is and how we are working behind the scene. And I sent, uh, I, it was Tuesday, I think. And uh, I just decided to do the webinar like on the Friday morning. <laughs> so I had three days to convince wow. people to, from my list to get on my uh, on my, my webinar. And actually, because my list was cold and I'm using active campaign, as the campaign, every time I was emailing, the percentage <laughs> was reaching less and less people, you know, <laughs> because it was it was cold. Yeah, like what she's doing, like she's mailing too much right now. So they just yeah. like reduce the amount. So only maybe 8% of my list just got the email. So wow. I had, um, I think 254 registration for my webinar. Hey, you know what? I love to do tricky things like that. I decided it was at 8 a.m. in the morning, by the way. So <laughs> like I'm free at 8 a.m. So if you want to be there, you have to wow. be there Friday morning at 8 a.m. And you know why I did that? Because I wanted the real ones, <laughs> the real yeah. entrepreneurs ready to listen to something before work. You know, mm -hmm. I wanted this specifically. And so actually 58 people showed up. Wow. Okay. Exactly 58. 
And by the end of the webinar that lasts maybe 90 minutes, there, there was 60, uh, 56 people. So I just lose the two. <laughs> That's incredible. It That's means incredible. I think it was interesting. So people were very interested about what I, I was selling and I was telling them. And at the beginning of the webinar, I told them, by the way, I'm showing you all of this, but by the end of the webinar, I will invite you if you want to join me for a coaching program, you will mm -hmm. get the information by the end. So I announced at the beginning that I was planning to offer them coaching session. Okay. I the end. And and finally, oh, at, at the end of the presentation, also, I was very hard <laughs> about who I wanted to coach during the next year. Okay, I was very specific, very, very specific. So I just got eight calls booked. And I was, eight calls. Very, yeah, eight calls. And I was super disappointed. I was like, oh, well, it didn't really work, you know? And actually, I canceled four. Four of them, because people are, you know, when they are scheduling the call, they're answering some questions. Mm -hmm. And four of them were just not exactly what I was looking for. So I canceled four of them. And I was like, okay, now I'm quite sure I will not do any sales. You know? <laughs> but I got on the call with four incredible people. Incredible. Mm -hmm. They were exactly the target I was looking for. And actually, they, they bought after like 24 25 minutes of talking together it wasn't like one hour uh, strategy call you know <laughs> usually it's one hour uh, but it was very quick because they were the because i did this presentation where i was uh, giving them all the information about what we will build together during the, the next year so all all four bought all four 100 percent at twenty five thousand dollars. that's amazing there you go during COVID time, right there. during COVID yeah. time, yeah. <laughs> and people Amazing. think that people don't have money right now, but that's not true. They have mm -hmm. money if they desire what you have to sell them. Mm -hmm. You know, they're a little less impulsive with their money. So that's all that happens during these downtimes. People still have money; they just take a little bit more time considering what they invest in, which means your offer just needs to be that much sexier. That's it. But uh, okay, so we got a hundred thousand dollars now. Um, I want to take a pause real quick. So for everybody, I want to recap. So she had a tiny list. It was cold. She hadn't mailed them in a long time. We are going to talk about what can you do if you don't have a list. We'll we'll come and talk about that as well. Uh, she only got two hundred fifty four registrations, which I could tell you right now is not earth shattering by any chance. She did her webinar, so it was for a webinar that she would run live at eight a.m. on Friday morning because she, I love it. She, she only wants the serious people. So if you want to be on that webinar and if it's too early for you, then you're not there, then you miss out or get up extra early commitment, right? That's it's, it's, it's a, it's a small commitment, but it's a big commitment. And they're already that committed. She had 58 people show up. So it's a little bit over 20% or right around 20% show rate, which is, which is good. Uh, it's not earth shattering, amazing. And it's not bad. That's good. Um, Usually I'm more be between like 30%, 40%, yeah. but because it was in the morning, I, I wasn't was thinking morning, that, yeah. you know, it's, yeah. it was normal. No more. Now, so you had 56 people stay till the end. So that's amazing. And out of the 56, eight people booked a call. So you're looking at about 14-ish percent, my guess, 14% uh, call book rate, which is, which is actually good on a cold webinar. That's actually really good. She canceled four of them out <laughs> right after she looked at their profile, looked at their uh, their questions, and she was like, nah, I don't want to talk to them. She ended up speaking to four people, but because of the process, the way it worked, those four people ended up being perfect people. She sold all four of them. So now she's done $100,000 on 254 registrations. So if I just do the math real quick, $100,000 on 254 registrations is $393 her webinar registration. I promise you, I don't care what type of traffic source you decide to use. That's going to be insane profit, especially because she's not even done yet. So, uh, all right, so let's go. $100,000 done, continue the story. I just wanted to make sure everyone knew how killer this data is so far. And by the way, it was, uh, it was um, a webinar test. 
This is how I call it. When I have a new offer, I'm not preparing anything. No website, no sales page, no nothing. Just, I'm just like creating a presentation of PowerPoint and and I'm getting people on the phone and see if it sells, you know? Mm -hmm. And actually it worked. So, and just, oh, and by the way, I just invest 200 in ads where I was just targeting, retargeting uh, like okay. my list. That's it, okay? okay. And because I was moving, mm -hmm. because I was, um, the, the months before I was working on my other company, photo retouching. So I, I wasn't very active in social media uh, for the marketing side of my business. And just because I had some ads rolling and I emailed people, finally, three other people reached out to me after the webinar, um, organically, kind of. Um, because they were like, oh, you know what? I'm looking for a coach. And I just thought about you. I saw your ad like last week and something like that. Okay. So they reach out to me and I sold them too. So I end awesome. up <laughs> with seven new clients with a new product uh, that I didn't create yet. You know, um, I was pre-selling it. <laughs> I'm always um, pre-selling, by the way. Always pre-sell your stuff. That's so. <laughs> A, a note of warning to everybody: Don't get on the phone with Dominique because you're gonna give her twenty five thousand dollars. It's just how the, it's how it works. That's a hundred percent close rate on seven. Um, now everyone think everyone might be hearing that, thinking she's like a superwoman on the phone. It's actually, first of all, I'm sure she is to a degree, but I think that her superpower is she is what she does before the call. Is she is super clear and just weeds out the people that are not going to be buyers. She is so clear that by the time they come to the phone, they're already sold. They just want to talk to her once to make sure it's like a real person or whatever. And then, then it's over. Um, but I like that. So what happened, this is a good lesson, Dominique, and it's probably maybe my favorite lesson of this podcast is you said, just because I was moving, there's so much, so much, <laughs> there's so much wisdom in that. Just because I was moving, three other people woke up and that movement meant, they didn't even come to the webinar. Those three people never even saw the webinar, but they saw her, they saw the email. So how important is it that we stay in front of our audience? How important is it that we always be moving? Had she not moved that week, those three people wouldn't have thought of her, maybe would have invested money in some other place and some other coach. But those three people then ended up buying in. The other thing I really wanted to highlight is funny because we never talked about this in the early part of this. You never even created the product yet. You've collected $175,000 in sales and now, so how many of you listening would love to get paid and only when you know that's got enough customers and it's worth your time, would you even bother creating the program? Um, let's take a quick break and ask, what is the program? How does it work? $25,000, is it a year? Is it eight weeks? Is it weekly coaching? Is it one-on-one? -on -one? What, what's the offer so that people can kind of feel like what they should put together as well? Yeah, um, my, this offer, actually, I just decided to uh, go for exactly the same um, template formula that I was using for my, uh, my, um, my photo retouching courses because it worked so well with that one that I decided just to copy paste like the, the same formula. So hmm. it's great because that's the proof that you can just copy paste that formula and create yeah. your own stuff. And by the way, in 2010, I did exactly the same thing. The, the 23 of December, 2010, okay, two days before Christmas, by the way, I just launched my funnel, but, but no, it was just a sales page actually. And I was like, oh, do you want to become a photo retoucher and everything? So just get a call with us. At that time, I, I didn't know how to sell. I didn't have script. I, don't know, I didn't know how to do strategy poll and stuff like that. And, and actually, I didn't create the um, the the program before february but i was just looking if it would sell and i decided to offer it to 7502 because i would i felt that under that price uh i was giving all of my stuff for almost free mm -hmm. so this is why I, I asked for that that specific amount and just so you know i was so sure that i will never sell it's christmas time everybody like nobody have have money nobody have time to look at it and i did that at that time to 100k in 30 days wow so you've done this again and again and that was in a different niche 
Hundred K thirty days, not in this make money niche. There's a photo retouching again. Ladies and gentlemen, she's created a seventy. It doesn't doesn't seem, but it's easy when you are in yeah. front of the good people, and you're mm. selling exactly what they're looking for. And that I think this is why it's why it's so successful. It's, uh, there's no there is no course in photo retouching the entire world. The only certification that you can get it's mine, you know. And even today is the only certification you can get in that field. So when I get people on the phone, they they were looking for a photo retouching course for three years maybe. So they are super hot prospect. <laughs> they're not cold and not warm. They're just like ooh, they want. A course they were looking for for so many years yeah. so so again i just want to say to everyone who's listening i mean she's doing it in, in a niche called photo retouching she's created a 7500 dollar offer you have no excuse i don't care what space you're in um it's really inspiring so i almost feel like we should have done the case study on that one <laughs> that's awesome because it's it's like a niche right it's like a niche niche but can i ask you is the funnel pretty much the same as this one was it kind of the same mail webinar, watch, watch the webinar, book a call? Actually, it's the same. It's almost the same team behind it, too. Like all the administrative okay. team, like uh, it, the only thing that is changing, the mentors are not the same because I have photo retouchers like mentoring the, the, mm. the photo retouchers. And I have people like more experience with online marketing, mm. like coaching the other. But it's actually, I just created like a copy paste of the same uh, business structure that's amazing okay so let's go back though what was in the twenty five thousand dollar offer like the core of it is it how long does it go for how many coaching sessions is it what's the promise give me a rough idea of what the offer is okay so like i said I, and you know what this is exactly why i came to you like a few years ago i was stuck there i was able to do like 100k in 30 days Woo! super easy and then do 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 after that what what is going on? Like after what you're doing, you're like answering clients, you're busy with the service that because you have to provide the service now that you sold all those people. And I was always doing like 100K and then nothing and then 100K and then nothing. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I was stuck there. This is where I decided to hire a coach, a mentor. <laughs> and that I realized that I was missing like all the processes and, and I had to remove myself from the equations. So this is what I did, actually. This is what I did for my photo retouching courses. I removed myself and then I decided to do the same thing with my 25K offers. That is actually, this is what I'm doing. I'm helping like online uh, people who have online businesses to remove themselves from the business. So I'm helping them to first review their offer because often they're not charging enough. Mm -hmm. And so review their, their genius often also maybe, my God, almost all the time, they're not selling the good thing to the good person. So let's start with that. Mm -hmm. We are like rebranding, re we are revisiting their offers, their branding and everything, and their approach also. We are helping them to fix or maybe build again in a new funnel. And we are also following them during the sales and but the most important thing is once they are able to have maybe a momentum, they're, they're getting like um, at least 10K per month, like that recurring, uh, we are starting to build the team behind them so right. they can delegate. But I think, Dominique, my, my question is a little bit more tactical. It's are you delivering? Is it group coaching? Is it one on one? Is there like when I pay you twenty five thousand dollars, do I get you as a one on one coach for a year? Do I get you group access? I'm, I'm more tactical. Like, what's the chunks of the? Okay, okay, I understand. So yeah. they actually they get uh, one on one coaching, forty eight one on one coaching, but not with me. Okay, okay, with a mentor. Uh huh. Okay, so that's the same thing for the photo retouching, by the way. So okay. they're getting like online courses. So they have to listen to the online courses. Do the do the homework and then meet where them their mentor. Okay. Okay. So they will have maybe like in the photo retouching side, they will have like images to retouch and they will listen to me. It will be me in the in the video. So they will they will listen to me in the videos explaining the thing. And then they will do the homework and then meet with uh, a photo retoucher, like mentor that will mm -hmm. 
verify their uh, their homework. So we're doing exactly the same with um, with uh, the marketing, um, but the difference is uh, with an online business, you cannot just like listen to videos, do the homework and then get corrected. It doesn't really work like that. So yeah. what I'm doing, I'm doing also coach, uh, um, coach call, uh, like group calls where okay. I am there answering questions and challenging them on their offer, genius, their, also their message. Um, so actually, uh, why... Uh, the price is 25k, but what is it, it, sh it should uh, I should charge more than that because they have like one on one session like all year long. They have mm. group session with me, and they also have like all the structure that we built, like all the tools, everything, even the contracts, even like uh, my God, every er, all the the um, the, um, the tools that we created to to see the conversion of our funnels and stuff like that. They are getting it like copy paste. Wow. And we're like creating the structure that I have right now. We are recreating it for them in their business. That's amazing. All right. So listen, everyone, you take what she just said, right? And you, it's like you take out her topic and you input your topic and you have an offer. And, and that's why I specifically wanted her to go through this. So go rewind, take notes, take out her topic, because unless that's a topic that you're an expert in, take her topic out. But like I could do this. I, I could take out her topic with, and put copywriting in. And no one in the world is going to go around saying, oh, 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 he copied Dominique's offer. I know that. It doesn't, it, just because it has the same pieces, does, it's a completely different offer, completely different market. I mean, she's out in Quebec, Canada. I'm sitting here in Maryland. Like it's, there's just upteenth opportunity. Start dissecting what those who are out there are doing. But what I love about this is how many $30 trinkets do you have to sell to make $25,000? right? Versus one phone call with the right person, the right client. And then, and then that intimate connection you have with you actually get to see their results, which is so cool. Um, I rarely coach one-on-one -on -one with people. When I do, I charge a ton, but I filter them out. And the one recent one that I'm doing, one of my students, two record back-to-back -back months that they've ever had. And it's like amazing to see that I was able to come in and have that impact. So great money, but also amazing results, less headache, less people to deal with. I mean, there's a lot of wonders to this model, which is why we at Learn have been talking so much more about it. Um, it has been really awesome, Dominique, kind of breaking this down. There is so much more we could break into. I think this is enough to get people thinking. Leave a comment. Let's see if we can't get Dominique maybe to come back and look at some of the comments, give some suggestions, get her back for another episode. What is a offer you believe you could put together? What's your genius? Um, and maybe we'll spend more time with her again in a future episode and we'll actually center in on that. We'll do a, you know, we could do like a live fun uh, reality TV show where we pick like three students, bring them on and it's Dominique's job to help figure out their, each of their geniuses. That would be fun actually. Um, but uh, yeah, so leave us a comment below. Make sure you click subscribe also on this page. And if you're on any of our other podcast channels, make sure you've gone ahead and subscribed and left us a review. Dominique, it's been amazing. I know that people listening want to see more of your stuff. They might, maybe they even want to speak to you because they're ready to have that coach. A lot of you might be thinking right now, hey, how do, how do I do this? Well, there she is. She does it every day and she teaches people how to do it. So where can they go to learn more about you and to get on your list and follow you? Yeah, you can go, you can just visit uh, sublimbusiness.com. So sublim without the E at the end. Yeah. sublimbusiness.com and you will follow my presentation so you will see the same presentation that i did <laughs> a few months ago in french but you will see that, it in english yeah that you're is very amazing for your fan <laughs> <laughs> that is okay i was just going to tell you that everyone this this is the greatest gift that's given to you by her right now i'm going to tell you what to do you go to sublim business so s-u-b-l-i-m business.com there's no e in it okay remember that and uh, by the way, the URL will be in the show notes, onicpodcast.com, find her episode show notes, we'll put the URL. Register for that webinar, watch it. So many of you don't understand that the brilliance behind this is actually in that webinar. And what you'll find is the webinar is fairly formulaic and you can actually take that template and work with it. I know she won't even mind because we all do that. We say, hey, go ahead, watch my webinar. It's not gonna hurt her, but watch it, dissect it. And you know what? Honestly, I mean this. If you feel like she's the right coach for you, as she has been for so many people, book a time to talk to her and see if there's something for you. 
Um, because I can tell you right now, she knows her stuff. We've been watching her just do amazing stuff here. So uh, thank you so much, Dominique. It's such an honor to have had you on. Congratulations on all your success. I learned even more about you. Um, and I can't wait to see all the big things you continue to do. And to all of you that are listening, make sure you click share on this, share this message with the world, let other people see what is possible when you just take some action. Like Dominique said, just move, move and people see you and they find you and they come to you, move, all right? Um, so this is Anik reminding you when life pushes you, stand straight, smile and push it the heck back. Make sure you click subscribe, click the thumbs up icon, click like, click everything. Just start clicking stuff so that other people see these episodes, learn.com, L-U-R-N.com for more about entrepreneurship training. And of course, sublimbusiness.com to connect with Dominique and onicpodcast.com to listen to more of our episodes. This is Onik. It's been awesome. Go out there, kick some butt, make 2021 the best year yet. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for listening to The Fighting Entrepreneur with your host, Onik Singhal.